Hi, I'm Prabash and you are watching Engineer's Fate. So welcome to this new series where we'll solve all those get questions of the chapter surveying. So we begin with our first chapter of the surveying that is fundamental of surveying and the mapping concept. Before going to solve the get questions, let me tell you some points that will be helpful in the get questions. So the first thing is that what is surveying? Surveying is nothing but it is an art. It is an art of determining relative positions of the object on the earth surface above or below it means what we do suppose if an object is there what we do we measure the distance from a particular point to that object and we represent that big distance that we have measured in a drawing sheet that is known as map means we represent that big data and we convert that big data in sort of a small drawing sheet that is known as a scale of the map. So first thing is that what is scale of the map and you can note down that is scale is map distance by ground distance. We generally represent the scale in some sort of representative fraction that is known as RF. So next thing we represent the scale in RF. Suppose a scale of a map is given as 1 centimeter equal to 5 kilometer and I want to represent in terms of RF. So what will be my RF that will be 1 centimeter by 5 kilometer then I have to convert 1 centimeter divided by 5 kilometer 1 kilometer is 1000 meter that is 10,000 meter then again I have to convert 1 centimeter equal to 5 into 1000 into 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter then I can cancel the centimeter then what will be my RF of the scale 1 centimeter equal to 5 meter 5 kilometer that will be 1 by 5 1 2 3 2 0 this will be my RF of the scale. So next thing is that suppose if this is numerator by denominator if my denominator is larger then the scale is smaller. Okay, then if the this denominator is smaller, then I can get this is a larger scale. So denominator is larger, this is a smaller scale, denominator is smaller, that is larger scale. So this is the first important thing you can note, then we move to the our next important part. So then comes the next important thing. The objective of surveying is to create maps. Generally what we survey, we generally represent our survey data in a map so that we can use the survey data in our future purposes. So if I want to do again the survey work in a future for a particular location, what I do, again I can see the map, I can find the positions of the object and again I can continue the surveying problem process so what happens when I have created a map the original dimension of map was being original but after some years what happens due to climate the moisture variation and due to change in temperature the map was not being original dimensions so that means the map was being shrunk a little bit that means due to temperature variation and moisture in the surface the map was not being original it being shrunk a little bit suppose for an example if you have brought a new notebook you have noticed that the paper quality of that notebook was being original and the original dimension of paper was being not changed but again if you use your notebook 
again after some days you have noticed that or after some months the paper quality of the your notebook was being changed means it it has shrunk a little bit again the same thing happens in case of maps after some years again when i want to use my map again i have noticed that my map is being shrunk but i want to find the exact area from that map only so there are processes how i can find the exact area from that shrunk map so the first thing i want to calculate that is shrinkage factor that is shrinkage factor and the shrinkage factor is given as shrunk length by original length shrunk length means after some year when i measure the distance of that map the map was not being original dimensions so whatever the distance i measured on the map the shrunk map that is shrunk length and original length i know when i have created the map then again comes that is shrunk scale shrunk scale what is shrunk scale this shrinkage factor into original scale so this is also important you have to remember next what happens the actual area the actual area of the map so how i can find the actual area from the map when the map is being shrunk so i can find that that is the area on the shrunk map divided by this shrinkage factor square so these are the three things so please note down these three points after we begin our solving the gate questions we begin with our one mark questions so please note down and try to solve the next question by pausing the video try the question by pausing the video again when i tell the answer try to match that answer with your answer so that could be helpful now you can note So this is the question asked in gate 2008 the surveying in which the curvature of earth is considered that is geodetic survey in geodetic survey we considered we consider the curvature of earth is considered and it is advised to consider geodetic survey if i if i want to survey area greater than or equal to 195.5 km square so what is plane survey plane survey what is that in which the curvature of earth is not considered in geodetic survey we considered the curvature of earth and in plane survey we don't consider the curvature of earth and the plane survey is valid up to 250 km square and the length is 18.2 km but it is advisable to use geodetic survey when the area of the survey is greater than or equal to 195.5 km square so the answer is a so please try the next question
So the next question asked in gate 14 that survey carried out to designate natural features. When you see the natural features is mentioned that means the topographical survey. In topographical survey we show the natural features such as hills, rivers and whatever the topography of the area. So when in the question natural features is mentioned uh, and hills, rivers etc is mentioned that means that survey is topographical survey. So the option is D. In engineering survey what we do we generally show the railway, uh, railway works suppose the construction of a canal in a city and other road construction works so whatever that survey that is engineering survey so in topographical survey we generally show the topography of an area so the answer is d that is topographical survey so now we will solve the two more questions so try the question asked in get 2007 and it has been asked for two marks So the question states that the plan of a map was photocopied to a reduced size so that the line original was 100 mm. So when I have constructed the map, the original dimension of the map was 100 mm. Now when I measure that dimension, it is showing that that is 90 mm. So the map has shrunk. So he has asked the revised scale. So what I need to find first? So I need to find first that is shrinkage factor. So, so what is shrinkage factor that is shrunk length by original length. So what is the shrunk length means now whatever the the um, distance of the map I am measuring that is 90 mm and what is the original uh, dimension of the map when it was first constructed it was 100 mm that is given in the question so I got the shrinkage factor as 0 0.9 now he has asked us the revised scale so what is revised scale is nothing but the shrunk shrunk scale that is shrinkage factor into original scale. So what is shrinkage factor is 0 0.9 what is original scale is given 1 in 1000 that is 1 by 1000 I have to represent in RF. So now how I can find the shrunk scale so there is a little bit of confusion always try to do like this. So this 0 0.9 can come to this side. So if I want to find, I can find the map is what I got 1 by 1111 that is 1 is to 1111. So the option is B. So always don't do the mistake by multiplying 0 0.9 into this thing try to convert we always show the map in some scale 1 is to something we always show the scale in 1 is to something so means that 1 centimeter is equal to this much distance on the ground so try to note this question and try to solve the next question So the question is being asked in gate 2008 and the question state that the plan of a survey plotted to a scale 10 meter to 1 centimeter means he has given the scale. The first thing I can write the scale that is 1 centimeter equal to 10 meter. Then what he state that is reduced such a way that 
a line original 10 centimeter now measures 9 centimeter means when i have constructed the map the original dimension of map was 10 centimeter now when i am measuring the the dimension it is showing that 9 centimeter means the map has shrunk map has shrunk means i have to find the shrinkage factor so So what is shrinkage factor that is nothing but shrunk length by original length. So what is the shrunk length is given as 9 cm. Now what was the original length? Original length was 10 cm. So what is the shrinkage factor equal to 0 0.9 then he has given that the area of the reduced plan is measured as 81 centimeter the actual area he is asked in meter square so first i want to find actual area of the map so how i want to find the actual area means actual area when i have constructed or created that map so original area or the of the map when it was first being constructed so i need to find the actual area of the map so so the area of the shrunk map actual area of the map is i have told you area of the shrunk map divided by this shrinkage factor square so what, what was the area of the shrunk map it was 81 centimeter square and what was the shrinkage factor square equal to 0 0.9 row whole square then what I need to find I have to find this value this value I want to find so 81 divided by 0 0.9 whole square so I can find that 100 centimeter square so now he has asked the actual area in meter square means from the map I want to find the actual area of the ground so he is asked in meter square so actual area in meter square so I want to find 100 so this centimeter square I have to convert meter square and you have seen the scale is given that 1 centimeter equal to 10 meter means 10 meter whole square. So 100 into 100 that is 10,000 meter square. I hope you have saw, understood this question. So please note it down. So we have solved all those gate questions from the fundamental of surveying. So very less questions but these are important concepts and it can be asked in future gate examinations and any other examinations. These parts are always been important. So in the next video we will solve all those gate questions and we will discuss the important concepts in the chain surveying from gate exam point of view only. So thanks for watching this video please subscribe to this channel and we'll meet in our next video where we'll solve the gate questions of chain serving so thank you for watching this video we'll see in our next video